Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to MySQL Detail for Beginner. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can insert data to a table. So here in my database, here you can see I have a table called employees. And in the employees, we have some column, employee ID, employee name, salary and hire date. And you can also see it over here. If you just click on schema, you can see those column name with the type. Here you can see integer, burger decimal and date so right now we're going to insert some data to the employee table column so for it we need to say here insert into we need to measure our table name which is employees after that we need to give to first bracket like this and inside this we're going to measure our column name so our first column name is employee underscore id after that we have employee name salary and hire date so we write over here emp underscore name then comma salary comma hire underscore date and we want to insert some value so in order to insert some value we need to say over here values then we need to give to first bracket like this and okay let me just write this values in second line so first of all here you can see employee id and employee id is a integer so for integer let's say the value will be on so for integer we can just write it directly but here you can see employee name it is in third car it means it is a character right so for it we need to give to double quotation like this and inside it we need to write our name so for third car you need to give to double quotation and for integer or decimal there is no need to use double quotation okay so let's say the name will be john and and here you can see salary is in decimal so for decimal there is no need to give any double quotation so here we are going to say only 100.25 his salary will be 100 dollar 25 cent then we'll give a comma then double quotation like this for day hard day so let's say it's 2025 month free and date is also free let's just say here 03 and 03 and we need to end this with that second loan so right now if we run this there you can see inserting to employees so those data is successfully inserted so right now if you want to see the data let's say over here cine star from employees our table name employees and let me just cut this on now let's run this there you can see we are able to see the employee id employee name salary and hire date so john salary hire date and employee id which we just inserted so right now let's say you want to insert multiple data at the same time so again let's say over here insert into our table name which is employees then we are going to mention our column name again let me just make it quick we are going to say over here employees employee ids comma employee name comma salary comma hire date our underscore date so right now we want to upload multiple values right so we can just say here values and for values we'll give it to first bracket then in comma here then again to first bracket like this we want to insert three data and and on so we'll give three first bracket like this way and indeed it is semi clone like this so right now first of all here we need to give our ids right let's say id will be two comma name will be let's say adam Adam salary will be let's say it will be two hundred dollar twenty five cents and his date will be let's say it will be 2023-24 let's say 2024 07 month and 07 day so let me just write it on by way like this so that you can understand it clearly so in the same way we are going to write this as well so here we are going to say the id will be free name will be spongebob his salary will be 300 solid 300 dollar and his hire date will be let's say 1997 
0307 like this and let's say this one will be id4 name will be let's say it will be yamin and this seller will be let's say 600 dollar solid 600 dollar and our date is let's say 2019 zero three month and the zero three date okay so right now if i just run this it will insert all those data at the same time so let me just run it okay we got the error and the error is higher depth so i need to write over here i higher depth and everything is fine so right now if we run it there you can see all those data is inserted at the same time there you can see so right now let's say let me just show you some issues uh let me just remove those indeed with the semi clone here let's say name will be Shapil and the hello the id will be five his seller will be in 325 and third date is 2026 now for example let's say you forget to insert those put other you only write the employee id and employee name and if we just run this he will get a error but if we just run it fully like if we also give the salary and hire date then run this there you can see there is no error now let's say for some employee you only want to upload the employee id and employee name broad salary and hire date for it what you can do is you can just remove the salary and hire date from there and also from here as well and the stop here yeah, i mean let's say they are uh sonia post i doing mistakes and right now if we run in there you can see we didn't get any error we are going to insert the employee id and employee name but the salary and higher it is null so those are all the basic how i can insert data in mysql database table i hope this tutorial was useful to you if you have any question or suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials